Hey guys, thanks for watching another one of my unvideos. This time around I've got a problem with my GE Profile fridge, uh, model PSS blah blah blah. And uh, what we're having problems with is the fridge will start freezing some of the vegetables, you know, down in the vegetable drawers and the lettuce and that sort of stuff. Occasionally something on one of the shelves will freeze. Uh, so I'm having some problems with um, the regulation of the temperature inside the refrigerator itself. Now, if you go and take a look online, you'll find plenty of videos and a lot of information about this problem. And it usually comes down to the uh, regulator assembly uh, needs to be replaced. So to do that, it's about 100 bucks for the part online. It's a pretty easy replacement. There's plenty of information online. Uh, to do that. That's not really what I'm going to talk about today. Today I'm going to talk about actually doing it myself and fixing it um, without purchasing a part. <clears throat> so once you dig into this regulator assembly you see, whoops, let's go back one, go forward one, um, you see that it's full of foam and it's got channels built into the foam um, to uh, you know channel the air around the machine. The regulator door is built into that foam as well as the fan that drives the air through the system. That door has a little motor attached to it, as you can see right there. Now, if you took a look, take a look at the door in my machine, you can see right here the door has snapped off from the shaft that controls the door opening and closing. So, to fix that, uh, I thought, you know, maybe I can glue it and uh, just make it an easy glue fix. But, you know, I got to thinking about it and looking at the plastic. Uh, it looked like that plastic was pretty hard and kind of brittle almost. So I decided not to do it that way and decided to, to weld it together with my hot air gun. Uh, you can use a hot air gun, something like this, um, to do it. So basically I just heated both of the parts up slowly to make sure I didn't burn the plastic or deform it too much uh, and then uh, fuse them together. As you can see, this is the result. It's a little messy looking, but after uh, it was uh, set up, it actually was really strong. So it didn't detect any uh, tendency to break or anything like that. After you've heated this uh, piece up and, and fused it together, it may take a couple of times to actually position it properly. Uh, and what I'm talking about is the distance between here and here um, has to fit within the frame of the regulator assembly, right? So um, you may have to do a little bit of modification. I actually had to sand that off right there, and I actually had to sand the flange on the motor off. Uh, to get the thing to fit just right. What you're not seeing in this is a rod that goes between uh, the motor itself and into the door. Uh, that's not in this picture, but there is a rod that goes between these two uh, parts. Also, what you can't see are four screws. You're going to have to remove those four screws that go to the motor assembly so that you can actually move the motor back out of the way to fit the door assembly uh, into the frame assembly, right? So um, take those screws out, move the door out. You might have to do some sanding to position it just right uh, and to make sure the door uh, moves back and forth just, pro uh, just the way it's supposed to. Um, it didn't take long to do that, maybe 10 minutes to, to make sure everything fit just right. All right, so after you've got that repair done, uh, obviously you have to put everything back together. Uh, here I've got a picture of my system, or my uh, refrigerator. Uh, there is the hole that goes into the freezer that the refrigerator pulls air out of um, to actually cool the refrigerator. So the damper unit goes right in here. Um, you can see the cabling that you have to hook back up to the unit. Uh, it's not high voltage cabling, so you won't have, uh, you know, really any danger there. Uh, there are hot 
bulbs that you want to watch out for. Um, but other than that, it's a pretty safe repair with the fridge on. I'm not saying that you should. It's always best practice to unplug appliances when working on them, but I did not.